Welcome to Tesla Info and today we're going to have a quick look at the way BMW and Tesla do over the air software updates. And yes, BMW do over the air software updates, it's not just Tesla. First of all, we'll have a look at BMW. Your app is what really drives the uh, software updates and you'll get a notification to say there's a software update available. Where BMW differs slightly from Tesla is it's actually your mobile phone that downloads the app from Tesla servers. So you can do it wherever your mobile phone has Wi-Fi access and your phone then downloads the update to the car when you're using the car. So your car doesn't need to be connected to Wi-Fi. In fact, BMWs can't actually be connected to Wi-Fi in the same way a Tesla can. There's pros and cons of that. You know, some owners have trouble connecting their car to Wi-Fi anyway. So once the car has uh, uploaded the software from your phone, it then gives you the option to install the software. BMW only tend to do one or two releases a year, but what they do do is include very comprehensive notes about what's changed in the update, including bug fixes and technical changes, which is something that Tesla tend not to do. Switching to the Tesla app, we'll see we can also see now the software release notes for that update. Although as we'll see, they're pretty sparse in comparison to the uh, BMW ones, even taking into account that Tesla do lots more updates and they tend to be smaller. So once we're in the car, we can actually see the software in the BMW is now offering. We get the same release notes again. The BMW has some prerequisites before it will install and you can also schedule it to do the upgrade later on. We're going to start it now. As you can see there are the prerequisites and two of them have failed, one of which is it hasn't detected the key and the second one the parking brake isn't applied. So we've correct both of those and we can then kick off the upgrade. And basically that's it until the upgrade's been completed and the car restarts. So switching to the way Tesla do the upgrade, we can see that first you need to be connected to the Wi-Fi to do the download. And once you can make it connect to the Wi-Fi, it will then uh, start to do the update and start to download the actual software package that's needed. So as long as the car is connected to the Wi-Fi to be able to download, you can do most of the other steps or the remaining steps from your mobile phone app, which is more convenient. The app tells you when the software update is available and you can schedule the update to start from the mobile phone app. Just like the BMW, it gives you a warning to make sure you're happy that uh, to do the update as it will take some time to complete. One slight quirk of the Tesla app, you can watch it start the update and it will start to give you a percentage complete, but essentially it will then lose communication with the car and freeze at 10%. So you have no real gauge from the app of how complete you are or how far through the update you are. But that's no bad thing really, it doesn't really make any difference. Car, the release notes will appear and interestingly the software release notes on the app differed to the ones available in the car. And just to compare, these are the release notes you got on the BMW, which seem to be much more comprehensive. And that's the one main difference, I think, between the two systems, uh, is just the amount of information that BMW share compared to uh, Tesla. If you like the way we do things here at Tesla Info, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much.